And we are back with a different stream. Gonna use the bathroom real quick and I'll be right back. Hey, I love you too. I love you too. You can, uh... Hmm. You can see the Discord right below if you're still here. Oh shit, my chair just dropped. How beautiful. What am I even gonna get into here? Oh, if you look below, there's a uh, button that looks like Mega Man and Star Fox combined. Click it. I don't know just yet. That's why I'm under games and demos. I'm taking a look through my library. I got some new stuff today from uh, Humble Monthly. Kind of sucks, though. Some of it. It's only a mild disappointment. Let's try something weird. I haven't touched this yet. It's from the guy who made the Stanley Parable. That is literally all I know about this. Yeah, I mean, you know, we live for, you know, the better stuff in the medium. Even if we have to eat a few pieces of shit. Hmm. This loading screen is going to take a bit, isn't it? Oh! Can I use the controller? Oh, I can. I don't want to, though.
Why are laptop power savings an option? Let's look for rendering. What? What the fuck just happened? Oh, okay. What is this? What is this pile of shit? Please make sure audio is on. Audio is indeed on, and we have verified that. I'm not going to keep eating pretzels in your ears. I am sorry, guys. You know, I should probably put the hat on I always put on when I stream, but I just don't feel it right now. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing The Beginner's Guide. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote The Stanley Parable. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Coda. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a Hold on. They inverted the mass. I'm dumb. Wait, raw mass. Disabled. The 3D environment. Counter-Strike like level. Is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town... Yeah, I'm not a fan of his voice. These I'm sure he has something good to say. ...abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. What are these black boxes doing here? I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So, it's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer. Okay, so it's like nothing, and really. And I really understood this, this image of, of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, oh, you know, hilarious. Just That's how great. He, worked. he tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made until suddenly one day he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So, so this is literally just something this. he made to if encourage his friend. Interpretation that I haven't mentioned That's actually kind of adorable. To to I was going to stop playing this and play something else, but I don't know now. V e y w r e d e n at gmail dot com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November two thousand eight. Wow. This game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. The fuck is this shit? This gun sucks. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But then Get in the bunker! No Get in the bunker! We're gonna die! Tactical nuke incoming! Help me! Oh god, Mr. President, we can't deal with this! Oh god, Donald Trump started World War III! And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. 
Okay. I get it. Pretentious artsy dude shit. Keep going. Tell, tell me more. Pretentious artsy dude shit. I like this. I want to eat up this pretentious artsy dude shit. The entire universe? Holy fucking shit, dude. This is what the universe looks like? Video games are so amazing for teaching history and real things. Okay, gamers, this is epic. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What? Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to be here. What? Okay, what? this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Hey, you there, in the engine room. What in the name of Half-Life ripoffs? That beam is powering the whisper we could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? What on God's green earth? Kill me! me Kill you. me! What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. Kill when he first compiles me! and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Holy shit, this is awesome. The beam causes you to start floating. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking. But what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and What take is a this look weird, pretentious, fucking hipster, fucking switch behind. soy boy bullshit? What is this? I'm just kidding. It's kind of gorgeous in a way existentially, but like also, what the fuck, dude? Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. I actually kind of hate this. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous Why game, does the future but actually keep changing? it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. But if the future is always behind her... It looks exactly like he used Hammer to design this. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, I like that. next one. You are now entering. Where am I even going? Am I gonna play Lugaru now? And that's it. Okay, the meaning. No, of this, this is the beginner's guide. Clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games. All right, you're just being autistic. My bad. So this is like a game development journal. Holy shit! Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, 
That was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So what the why, fuck? if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. What's going on in here? This game is nothing but giant blocks of text explaining what's happening. A normal game where you have to scream to a mic every 15 seconds to keep playing. A key in one game unlocks a door in a completely separate game. A room that's warm you walk around, nice poking people down from pursuing their hopes and dreams. For games. A series of lavish manuals come with the game, giving you correct and correct instructions on how to play. You are a gate. Read an enemy's Kota emails and learn how to beat them. Mind if people Press you to surrender. Old or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Collect items, except the game automatically quits when you collect them all. The game of only posters and concept art showing what it's supposed- What? Okay. This guy's got something wrong with him. Actually, both of these guys have something wrong with them. I need to get a drink. I'm very thirsty. I have it right next to me. Just one second. I gotta. Yeah. I'm over explaining. I am a likable individual who is not overly crazy. I need to calm down. Let us figure this out. What is going on in here? I am a thirsty boy. Thank you for noticing, you dumb slut. What is this? Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Yeah, I pressed the button. Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We are? We're see it a lot. What's even happening here? So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, this is incredible. Uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? That is profound and stupid at the same time. Oh, the world is all around me. You are now exiting. Uh -huh. So this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. This is some weird There's shit. a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. The great and lovely descent. What? Nothing gonna sneak up on me, right? Okay. 
encourage a cowardly dog. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I want to get pets from the old lady before the old man Let's beats me with a hammer to death. Development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which oh really? What the I didn't know this. Cannot do. Do so tell me more, words, sir. Engine is a set of tools. I am a dum dum. I only tap on keyboards like this. Her, I don't know what an engine is. Her. Like all engines, what source? I don't play old games. Well, What's a rocket jump? It does poorly. How do you spell the engineer? It does very well is boxy linear corridors. Boxy. That's why so many of Kuda's games are Shit, the queen of B. large flat empty rooms is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Muriel. Oh! The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're gonna end up making. Whoa, what, what is this existentialist nightmare? To the architecture in Coda's games. To and now I do a ballerina jump, hell yeah! I feel fucking dank right now. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, I'm the best at first person platform with a keyboard and mouse. Suck my dick, I'm gonna drop! Ooh, and now we breathe. We sit in the middle of the nothingness. There is no god. Schrodinger's cat doesn't even know if they exist here. Oh shit, there's a triangle, here's another triangle, here's another triangle, ah, oh, please land on the block, nope, I'm gonna die. This is where I got- <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> the mysterious crystal cylinder called me down to the base of the bedrock. I must go down. I know not if I will find horrific dungeon crawl monsters, or if I will find Minecraft kids picking their goddamn nose at the bottom of the bedrock. But I know. I. Must. Go. Fall damage isn't a thing in this experimental last nightmare bullshit. Like, bunny hopping doesn't even work properly. Even with, with or without crouching. I don't think they care about much of anything in this first person. What? Okay, Mr. Moo Moo Cow. Invisible Moo Moo Cow, no! 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 I don't want this! Oh. <sighs> There's no railing! Like, why isn't that letting me move? Ooh. Okay. This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If Holy you fucking mind, shit. I think we're gonna skip that. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. God damn, that dude is petty as shit. I kind of like this guy's design philosophy, though. It was weird how just walking through this felt like. With the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. I'm actually intrigued if there's actually any philosophical implication because this Kota guy seems like a fucked up piece of shit to make shit like this. Here, Maybe that did you come from up above? Kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. There's an enormous prison I spent hours in. That's the world above, you've been there. Well, I mean, anything has philosophical or intrinsic, you know, worth if you apply it, you know, don't give me that ridiculous fucking psychology 101, philosophy 101 bullshit. Puzzle is the only way.
You cannot help us escape this prison. You are not the one I need. Surely there will be someone else. What the fuck? What is this bullshit? From the black space between the doors would be far more interesting. So now that you mentioned, I remember feeling strange as I passed through it. Don't think too hard about it. You'll see it again soon. Is it ego death? Is the blackness in between rooms with a simple puzzle that is actually supposed to be meaningful? Is that supposed to be representing some form of ego death or rebirth of the self? And so we make one last What is even going on here? It's Limbo. Hello, uh, can I get an extra large Limbo with fries and an extra shake? Sorry, Limbo machine broke. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. So that's that. What happens now? This is an interesting, this is like a weird interactive film, but like not like a movie game. You know, like a telltale shit. I dig this. Interactive journal. I think that this game should be called The Live Journal. No one would ever think of a name like that. All notes you see are left by other play. You're lying to me. No one else has ever played this pile of shit. Nice room. Not. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly no after point I to met this. him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In Whoa, holy shit. I think I was probably a bit too bushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Everyone read this. Feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. This place makes my me sad. Way, to me, they convey a sense of to find fun. I balls. It just says balls. It's just fucking balls. And has no I can make games like this. I can make simple little art pieces like this. In addition to the real games I want to make, the commercial things. But it's ironic, isn't it, that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I can assure you guarantee that there's an acorn somewhere here really in this place and the sailors are looking. What the I fuck? Play someone's game and see the voices. Hey guys, just looking for someone to talk to. Better and have to do less of the. You lonely piece of shit. Socializing. I refuse I to, to believe. I think this is but why ass, I but. liked Coda's games so much. Is because it felt like they let me have I need to go to the freaking bathroom. I felt as though he was inviting me Recognize me, please. That is an existential world. cry. Huh. And then I feel like Nothing here. Go too. back. Don't listen to that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to the second guy. He is confident. A free t-shirt! Need other side door. Why you so? Mixed game includes door. Cannot open door. Thanks. Open sesame. Door had to open. 
free t-shirt. Oh wait, wrong way. I'm a dum-dum. I am Colonel Dum-Dum. Someday I will meet the person who made this. Take a real good feeling I get. What do you mean I'm a dum-dum? What should I go back to? Th this is the way I'm supposed to go. New room. The chimes, I keep going. Dude, it's not about, you know, the actual game itself, because this itself is a boring work from an amateur, piece of work from an amateur, but what he's saying here is said in an interesting way, even if it's not an interesting thought in and of itself. It's a really interesting perspective on loneliness and isolation. I don't know, and, and it's also like, it's not like, there's no goal. There's no focus that you, you know, don't put it on yourself. Like, if I just never want to read these notes and I just want to admire the shitty textures, I could do that here. And it would still give me an idea of what he was trying to express with the whole bleakness of it all. Hmm. Stop faking it. It's just interesting to look into someone else's mind and thoughts. This is like reading someone's journal, but they animated it. The game itself is shit. It's about how this game is pretentious and you will all suck. Spoilers, it doesn't mean anything. Devil Tower Star. What's this in the ground? I'm gonna pick you up, Mr. Thought. He was himself the most horrible creature he could imagine. If you're abusive, that can be a thing. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're all here now. There must be a reason for it, though. It's a terrible secret. He kept it well. This reminds me of No Thing. You know, the endless runner that's like a sea punk philosophical. It, is he, no no Thing is so much better than this, though. I'll stream that sometime. I'm scared of writing something. I don't want to feel judged. I've been there a lot. That's why I stopped being on stage for a long time, and then my PTSD ended up backing up, and now I can't be on stage anymore. Escape, escape, need to escape. I can relate to that. Cut it up and spread it between worlds. That is pretentious bullshit that does not make sense. That does not make sense, and I don't care. Almost that. I've seen everything I've tried. Okay, yeah, you're just trying to be grandiose here. You are being grandiose, pretentious, and I don't care. I wish there were notes in the real world, uh, but actually, yeah, shit, fuck, that made me think a little bit. Become one with the spiraling nonsense. It's probably a schizoid thought. Not really pretentious, just more, uh, pointless, as far as I can see. Then we're to keep digging. Hmm. You close your eyes and wish for it really bad. Innocent thought, childish one, nothing really profound about it. Almost at the end, indicator, let's read this shit. Let's just give it some time. This is a puzzle of a solution. We got Benny for a little early an hour. Help. Help. Doesn't make sense. The second door won't open. Shit, how do you solve it? Developer answers, please. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces. I'm going to start later, guys. Before guys, it's not so bad in here. Get to pause. Just for a moment. A few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture yeah catch you later valentine what is this thought now how do you leave notes what is this what's happening in my ears i don't like this oh god it's all the can oh it's typewriters what the hell and there's this lamppost. Are you there? Please say something. You can be anything. I just need to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, speak. Oh god, this is terrifying. This must be what it's like to be a mute. Oh god. Whew. Please stop. Please stop it. Please stop it. Please stop it, please. <sighs> okay, this one is tough. Porn stars die it too. Just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Porn stars die too. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. 
Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Version two. What? How about a TV with surround sound? What? Live has luck wells in each corner. What is this trying to say to me? Pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. I kind of like how weird it is though. This is really cool. So okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Follow the instructions carefully. Follow each step. Click to turn it slightly. Turn the floor lamp in this room off and turn it back on. Shelves. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Oh god, what? And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few. Okay, questions. this is pips or bullshit really now. Loaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen. Of them. Personally, I love this one best. This, to see a person basically unraveling through their work, and for what? Like, at what point do you just go? Eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something. And he What lets, is happening? And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening here? Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. It's strange, but in a way I kind of miss being in the prison. Holy shit. <laughs> being here sucks. It was comfortable. I knew its limits. I knew my, my place. Mm. 
If it's comfortable, it's comfortable, but it's inhuman. I couldn't live this way. You'll see what I'm talking about when you've been there a while longer. Can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. If he's a game dev, he might be. It's probably an older dude since the stuff was all made back when Hammer was, you know, more of a thing. You sure about that? Could be, though, yeah. I feel afraid that nothing will ever change. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? This hurts me. A little. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Clean. I'm glad as all heck that you showed up, though I might have to be cleaning this entire house by myself, and right miserable that would have been. Everybody knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up. Lousy homes make home loaners. Including this new and improved huh. system. Which Something tells me you're going to be fun to do this job with. From here on out, he begins Pleasant's going to clean itself as far as I know. I'll finish up here. Work. And this please clean the table. Took two months to create as a result. Anything for you, darling. You are so beautiful. I love how chiseled your jawline is, darling. Would you please run to the bedroom and make the bed? Of course, baby. Oh, this is not a bedroom. At least, this is not on the planet I came from. Darling, instructions. Do we have instructions? All the little details matter. While you're in there, why don't you straight up the rug a little bit? It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Come visit me then. This line of work, you'll go with this job was pretty fast. May not be your, your apartment and something. Oh, cool. Think you got nothing that needs cleaning? Be careful because that means it's everything. Pillows on the couch are a wreck. Clean the spell. Mop it up off the table. Table mopper. I am the wonderful table mopper. I am a masterful cleaner and a mopper of tables. What time is it where I am? It is 3.48 a.m. I am a resident of Pennsylvania. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to hurt you and your feelings. I'm sorry, friend. No. No need to be perfect. We're all just human. Still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom. Could you please put them on the shelf? It's okay. She's delusional from California, so her ego doesn't let her cr think critically. After the intense set of prison games, clear the dishes off the table. What? Like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult. Do these chores ever end? Where you just need to let it Starling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you ab absolutely got to own it, otherwise it owns you. Why don't we leave the task at hand and leave the future towards the future you? Present you wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. I really like this game. 
Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period you mind of hiding it up? This is really calming. This is like the myth of Sisyphus. This is like the myth of Sisyphus personified, you know, and the modern menial labor. Time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. I actually do need to be mean. You could easily be mean to me. You take care of it and takes care of you. Don't know why I felt so weird about saying it. But there's a bit of truth in it and all. Anyway. So, housekeeping. Would you please clean up the books? Books. Thank you. This pillow's in the couch are a real mess. I'm glad he found some peace. Yeah, this is a beta for Viscera cleanup detail. I don't know who got shot here, so... But, of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's Do you enjoy time. this? The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Huh. This is some weird shit. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. There's that lamppost again. This one gets a bit goofy. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is going to teach you how to become perfect. Wow, this person's a better human being than I am. That is ridiculous shit. I intend to make you into that person. Why does it keep shifting me around? This is freaky. I'm spinning around in my chair. I'm spinning around in my chair. I'm not I'm anxious about being a college in my underwear and naked. I can't see me. I don't got a body that's worse than being naked. Oh god, I opened up a rift into the elder tour. That's even worse than being naked. On the way to work, I told an elderly person to start contributing to society. Suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and Being also, alone must be awful. If you're torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Haha, uh, just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Holy shit, you guys. Something is coming out of the back of the room. Look out. Nothing. No one. This is freaking me out a little bit. Perfection. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect. Oh my God! This is supposed to be about the anxiety of. Way, and oh my God! All of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Where am I even going right now?
Ladder? Nope. No ladder for me. One second, y'all. Oh, what? Please don't do this to me. Oh, thank God. We're good. Jesus, no! I don't like lights. I don't want to be on stage. No, for the love of... No! I'm not ready for this. I didn't prepare. I don't know the words. I'm not wearing the right outfit. My hair isn't brushed. I I, I haven't drank my w warm tea with lemon. I... I, do, I can't... Nope, nope. I do not know how to play the giant wooden billboard displaying a brick. Unfortunately, that is not my skill set. We're to gather professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against the wall. Stay right there? Okay. I'm terrified. Professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photo photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her to gain something to succeed. Hello. Hello? That's it? That's not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. What? I like you. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe that's it. you need a better feel of the setting. There were a lot of people around us. They'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. What are some sacrifices you've had to make? What am I- what, what can I do right? You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important that was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Hmm, I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. What? Please don't beat me, Daddy. I don't want that shit. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. This is what the it's like. To social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and- Oh my god, he's isolating himself, holy the shit. The answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes this harder, is about harder isolation because of social anxiety. Holy because shit! Because he keeps retreating, he just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world, and that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Definitely a pretty hardcore walking but son. what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. What's going on? Help, I'm blind. What? Okay. Please, someone tell me how to solve this. What is even happening? Can't you do something? Can't you fix this? Be quiet and help me find the sheep. You should What's probably going on? your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Jesus Christ, what is even...
Help, I'm blind. What is even going on here? I can't keep making these. I'm out of ideas. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped. I haven't been honest. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being I'm a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected. Me and the all truth the are just chilling here on the bridge. Here Sup was the truth. point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, desperate? it's almost six months before he finishes something new. This will be another half an hour longer, and then I'm probably going to be getting into something else. Figure y'all will probably be piecing out for this, considering how late it is, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, I know these are like pretentious ass walking simulators, but they really speak to me. As with an isolated game dev. Is it a person? How lovely. It's been so long since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Tell me a secret, Mr. Tree. When I try to create, I feel empty. Oh no. What's happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. I don't know, I like these cries for help. I like them. Genuinely. Take me to Florence and her machine. Put your faith in what you most believe in. Two worlds will finally beat. This one turns it up to 11. Trust your heart. Let faith decide. To get these loves. Frustration, anxiety, I can't depression. Keep doing this. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder, even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Well, you need to kick the lies off. It'll take a while. I am right in the middle of that myself, and it took me quite a few years. Just what I knew of him. Five or six, really, if we're talking about from adolescence when I could have easily done it. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day. I've solved this puzzle before. Anyone, not releasing them onto the internet, and so. Can you tell me how to do it? Anyone outside of himself to connect with. First, you have to open the door. To ground himself on. Now you have to close the first door. I don't like giving verbal instruction for something I can easily touch. It feels like using an AC remote when I'm right next to the goddamn AC. Huh, that was so simple. You can't talk yourself. Can't believe I never solved it before this. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Trust me, you'll say. You have to say game development is simple and joyous and you love it 100% of the time. Ah, that is wonderful. 
Why do the walls just crumble? Why do I feel awful? Or you could just be borderline and alone for the rest of your life, like me. <laughs> Creation is easy. Jesus Christ. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. Himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Every time I make something, I feel better about myself. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy, fuck. suddenly become angry and frustrated like this. It was the worst thing for me. That feels fantastic. Yeah, but if you're choosing to deal with it, you're choosing to be weak and give everyone who is like you a bad name in everyone else's eyes. Especially when they already have a bad spot. I prefer not to do that. I worry about what my actions would do to PTSD sufferers, to borderline sufferers, to schizoid individuals. So I'm very careful with my actions and words. I wanted it to stop more than even if I make horrible mistakes often. I, I believe this unquestionably. I'm a vessel for certainty. Ever what is the prison? Holy shit. Stop. Do I need to save you from the prison? Oh my god. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. I intend to be brutal. I'm sitting there stroking on my tiny ass beard thing. Yep, thank you for noticing. It calls itself Coda. What will you do with it? Can you give us answers? How did you capture the machine? Will it be punished? Hmm. And of course, it's the machine. Your work was keeping us healthy. Oh my god, he's talking to his own inspiration. You have to admit to the people that you allowed them to suffer. Think carefully. I know how to hurt you. Alright then. I will speak to them for you. What is even happening? What the fuck? My friends! I have a troubling revelation. The sh machine refuses to admit that it has deliberately hurt us. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. But it'll show that we are not failures. Follow me. We will destroy everything that the machine has created. What? Oh, is this supposed to be his return to the stage? Could all make sure you were known forever. 
Isn't that what you're scared of? Exposed to the view of others every day forever? So now the Seeing a naked player day? And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize what that is even I going on here? One to initiate it. This is insane. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference, man, this is the best FPS I've ever played. Conversations with other human beings. Would that I wish I, I wish there were more games where I could shoot existential fears rather than sentences. you know. Would it bring meaning back into his work? Conscious visceral fears. Sub bitches. Goodbye room. Goodbye, Moon. Oh, fuckles. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his game. You know, the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. What the fuck was this fucking bullshit? What does the machine want? My weapon's down. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a this good is ridiculous. person, felt like there was a friend who was in trouble, and was unhappy, and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Really cares about this guy, doesn't he? Hmm. Cute. Um. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, hmm? and to my knowledge, it's the last game that you ever made. So let's take a look. Last game he ever made. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This is very cold, very odd. This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. 
like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here though so that we can move on. Oh shit. Hey there, stair buddies. Oh, you weren't going to let me fall to my death, pussy. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me <laughs> any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. What's your deepest I desire? I open this door for you, so let me do that. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see That's a myself. foolish desire and thought, really. to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Or did I screw up? You didn't screw up, you're a good friend. You made this. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Wow. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. You've so infected my personal space that it's and possible I did begin to plant solutions them, in my work somewhere hidden between games. Like I was important. 
They really listened and cared about what there was I an had answer, to say. a meaning. Even though I was showing your work, it was didn't make you any happier. I felt good about myself. Finally, for a moment, while Would I you had stop that, taking my games I and showing them to myself. people against my wishes, giving them something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe. Would you stop changing my game? Stop adding lampposts to them? Would you simply and let them be what they are? And I didn't have anything left to show people. When I'm around you, I feel I physically ill. You myself. desperately need something, and I cannot and give it to you. I literally happened, do not have it. There was no feeling at all. Struggling to come up with new ideas Nothing. is not making me depressed. Less Low points are just a part of the process. What does that mean? <laughs> The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine, you're not my problem to solve. But I hope that one day I'm it clicks and that you I make peace with the thing really that you're wrestling. Because I don't like myself. You finally see what I am talking about. Don't say anything. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, Will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Holy start shit. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some what of whatever What am I playing right now? Holy fuck. Complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading. It's closing and me all in slowly. Is to know that I'm going to be okay. Hmm. I paid 89 cents for this. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution, solution, solution. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Very well could be.
Check Even what? Now, the Maybe. Is telling yeah. You to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Why did he call it the Beginner's Guide? What's happening? I can't even make jokes about this. What is this zen like hellhole? If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. What now? I think that someone's been left for dead. Even if it's not L for D2. I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna okay is he not going to make games anymore What a miraculous little journey we've been taking here. I had to, I, I had to enable that. <laughs> what a fucking cook following predetermined paths. It's a video game, dude. If I don't, it might not actually show me some cool shit. Who knows? Fucking modern ass hoe playing fucking modern ass games with no amount of imagination or secrets. Fucking millennials with their 72 genders and their and, and their avocado toast. What is this lovely little journey we're taking? Where are we going? No, oh, would you look another wrong opinion you hold? <laughs> Fuck. I've noticed you've got a lot of them. It seems like you're trying to collect them. <clears throat> Bonnie hopping all the way to the end. Thank you. Someone's got to say Gazoon Heights to me, right? It's the beam again.
This is insane. Probably not impossible without the following individuals. Let me keep going. But the cave goes for miles and miles and miles. And you are so tired. I kind of want to X out and find out what, uh, happened with us if there's any more to the story so I can read it if necessary but I also want to see if there's anything that happens after the credits I don't know and this is a nice song That was worthwhile. Dependence on social validation. One common interpretation is that the game is a metaphor for Redden's own success and attempts to move past his struggles, with Coda being a fictional developer. For Redden to publish a game at cost that is claimed to be the work of someone else released without their permission would be illegal, unless providing evidence that Coda must be part of the game's fiction. Coda is in fact Redden himself, with Coda representing Redden's own psyche up to and including the release of the Stanley Parable. Coda can be taken as a definition, meaning a concluding part of a literary or dramatic work, the theme of closing one door or moving on repeats frequently. How much attention Redden had received following the Stanley Parable's re-release. Christopher Bird writing for the Washington Post. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Game is presented as commentary and another theory on the role between game developer and their audience. PC World's Hayden Dingman believed the game was designed to demonstrate the fallacy of the death of the author essay applied to video game development. In which case, commentators attempt to attribute... Attribute aspects of a game to how the game developer approached it, as opposed to considering how the game affected themselves. Gama Sutra's editor-in-chief, Chris Graff, notes that as the game attempts to deconstruct the way players will interpret narrative video games, any attempt to interpret the deeper meaning behind the beginner's guide is paradoxically committing all the sins that the game presents as problems with players' interpretations of games. Laura Mandanis, writing for Autostraddle, described the game as a man poorly coming to terms with his hugely overinflated self of entitlement. Okay, so the pre pretense was on purpose. That's lovely. Interpreting the game's themes is not only applicable to game development, but also to interpersonal relationships. Some have taken the game to be a work of nonfiction and that the games presented are works of a real developer other than Red and that the game itself could be seen as an unethical use of someone else's work and potentially copyright violating. <coughs> Well, goddamn. Redden himself, in light of the controversy, refused to affirm or deny any interpretation of the game until confirming the game's ultimately fictional nature in an in-depth interview with podcast Tone Control. 
That was extremely well written, and that was brilliant. Are you familiar with the Stanley Parable, Valentine? Just checking. It was a lovely little adventure that we just went on. I'll stream it sometime, but not now. <sighs> Shyness, the Lightning Kingdom. <sighs> what is this fairy bullshit? Why do we have blonde knuckles? Get out of my house. The beginner's guide really fucked me up, you know that? That was a crazy little bit. Mm. Let's try Master Spy for now. Yeah, what kind of story was that, huh? Go ahead and do that for a moment. Game capture. Yeah, let's overwrite previous progress. One moment. There we go. What, is it not wanting to play nice because of... Motherfucker, hold on. Wait, is it because there's... Okay. <sighs> Overwrite. Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. Yeah, this is fucked up. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Popper. 
cloak, uncloak, cloak, ah, fuck. Cloak, uncloak, cloak, uncloak. Ah, oh, I see. No, I don't. Fuck, I'm dumb. Oh. I see. It's like a- it's- it's- it's like a puzzle. That pretends to be a spy movie. It's like a puzzle platformer, really. No! You fucking cunt. I swear to god, I am the fucking master, please don't get me. Oh shit. Oh fuckles. Nope, nope. One, two, three, drop. Woo, woo. Oh god. Whoop, 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 hey popper. Nope. That's not a puzzle platformer, that just hates you. Okay. One, two, three, and boom. Mm. Nope, I'm bad. Damn it. I'm a fucking dumb cunt. I'm a fucking dumb cunt. Don't get me popper. <sighs> fucking cunt. Fucking cunt. Fucking cunt. Fucking cunt. One, two, three, and boop, 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 boop. Damn it! I should have cloaked back on the way back down. One, two, three. Cloak on cloak on jump. Cloak. This game it should have recloaked on fucking. <sighs> One, two, three. Cloak on cloak. Oop. One, two, three, four. Gotta hit. I'm calm as hell. This is just really frustrating. Uh, eat my fucking cunt. Okay. Let him go under? Nope, I can't do that apparently. No, it, it, you see, uh, they look, they, they see me at any range if I'm not uncloaked. The dogs see me whether I'm cloaked or not, and they rush me hard. Watch what happens when I try to get down here. See, yeah. You are just being dumb, long story short. But I'm fine, or I'm happy to remind you anytime. It, it expects you to be painfully precise here. Painfully precise. I just cannot tell what exactly it wants. Do I need to... I mean, hey, that's what I'm there for, to tell my little girls that I'm dumb. God, I just started thinking about... Uh... Get it together, get it together, stay calm. Why is it lagging so much? Like, you guys can see the slowdown too, right? If I go to the bottom route, I'm being a pussy. 
fine. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Yeah, we go tell me more about the bottom rat. Yes, my PC with a 1070 and a 6700K is just total fucking shit. Thanks, you fucking spurg. Do you say inflammatory shit because you think it's funny? Because being inflammatory just for the sake of being inflammatory isn't funny. It only frustrates people. If you think frustrating people is funny, then sure, I can understand why you would talk like this and make jokes like this constantly. Damn it. Damn it. Cloak. Oh. Oh, cloak, uncloak. Oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? He's not supposed to be able to follow you across screens. The slowdown isn't seriously affecting the uh, pathing, I think. Hey, would you look at that? I did it. I'm here for the interview. What? Who's there? Who's the handsome bastard? This guy? Also, you can start with the alarm now. Don't worry, I'll fix it on my way out. Ah, Master Spy. In that case, care for a glass of the finest ten year. Let's just get down to business. Certainly. As you already know, we work in a very delicate field of research here at Gale Electro. We've had a tape reel containing the blueprints of our top secret communication system go missing. In the wrong hands. It could have a very devastating effect on the current global situation. Let me guess, World War III? That's not even the worst case scenario. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars if you can get me that reel. No less than fifty. You drive a hard bargain, Master Spy. Get me that reel and you'll get a hundred. Deal. Anything else? Are you telling me this is hilarious? <laughs> My daughter Lily will fill you in on the details on your flight out. Mission 1. Caught 72 times, Jesus Christ. Spy grade novice. I'm going to take this moment to... Hmm. Advanced. Take that shit down to normal and see if it helps. I'm not gonna skip the cutscene, what do I look like, a pussy? I see you, Master Spy. Do you see me? I'm a pretty girl. Yes, but I prefer to speak in person. My daddy's amazing, isn't he? Feldstrom Futures is behind all of this. Feldstrom and his company have always been a thorn in daddy's side. This time he's crossed the line. Don't let them get away with stealing our, our work. We're sending you to a secluded forest mansion in the Rhine. 
Sounds peaceful. Better watch your back. Feldstrom hired a new kind of spy, a computer genius called the Buzzard. He'll be expecting you. Infiltrates Feldspar. Oh god, this is gonna suck. No, I uncloak after jumping. Nope, I'm dumb. I'm a fucking ass clown. God, this is fucking hard. Oh, shitting on my dick here. Whew. Eat my dick. No! Suck it! I hate you. I hate you so much. I'm gonna be the master of all master spies, you little cunt. I'm gonna drop down and you aren't even gonna know what fucking hit you. Ah, oh, fuck, I might know what's gonna hit me. It's gonna be this fucking weird laser fucking anal bead. Ah, uh, fuck me! I hate you, Dad! I hate you! <laughs> God, I can't focus whenever I think about how are you winning, son. Whenever I get excited, it takes all the energy I was putting into thought and winning, and it just makes me feel stupid in the best fucking way. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that so fucking funny to me? me? Fucking kill me in my sleep. <laughs> I hate you, Dad! You don't love me, Dad! Hey, how'd you know that my dad never loved me? Was it the fact that I'm a soft soy boy? That's not even the worst case scenario, god damn it. <laughs> My wife's boyfriend said she would buy me a Switch for their special time if I could do this on my next try! Hell yeah, I get a Switch now. That's almost unfair with how cheap it is. You fucking cocksure piece of. I wonder if I, uh. I wonder if there is an options menu thing that will reduce slowdown at all. What happens when we disable WebGL? Oh, hey, it's normal now. Was Google Chrome using up like a shit ton of CPU or something and I just wasn't noticing? I don't fucking know, dude. But it made everything work now. Oh, fuck, this is the actual pace of the game is supposed to be played at. Hold on, we're restarting. Oh, th this is an entire new. Okay. And right over my head, and then I jump up. I'm cloaked. Run across, run across, run across, and then stop. Run across, run across, drop. Hold on. I'm 
damn it! This is hard as shit. Damn it, you fucking... I'm so... Just get good. Honestly, this is like one of the hardest games I've ever played. Damn it! Should have... Holy shit, did I do it? I did it! Oh, holy fucking shit. Jesus H. Christ. Damn it! One one thousand, two one thousand, drop. Oh, fuckles. Are all the patrolmen affected when you get spotted or just a one? No, they can only view things horizontally anyway. Damn it, I'm dumb. Are their sprites affected? Uh, all of their sprites are affected, yes. Just that they are given randomly different. I, I'm not sure if they actually designed it specifically so that different guards in different spots got the same, uh, caught animation. Damn it, I should have. Wait. Holy shit, I can't believe I managed that. I say. This is dumb though, but Jesus Christ. This ain't nothing, it's just- OH FUCK! Oh fuck! <laughs> Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, fucking. One, two, three, and drop, and drop, and. Oh, fuck. One, two, three, and we will drop, drop, and drop, and. <sighs> Thank you, darling. Oh, you cunt liquor! Oop, oop, oop. Damn it, I shouldn't have uncloaked. It's just an instinctual thing. Right when it hits the wall, cloak in. Right when it's on its way back. Actually, no, just. Damn it, I'm. I cannot think about what I'm doing right now. Right? And drop down. Right when you get to the edge, cloak in. Oh! Slow down fucked me there. Okay. Hit the right wall. Oh, 
I feel a little bit of lag in the D-pad. Jesus Christ, this is not good for me. Damn it, I should have... God damn it. Wait right here, wait for it to go above me. Jesus H. Christ now. Jesus H. Christ now. Ah! 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 Fucking shit! No, 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 I don't accept that as reality, nope. Ah! Oh, nope. Can you maybe lick my ass cheeks just a little bit, baby girl? Oh, no. I, for some reason, I thought they were going to be a rhythmic. Calm down, you baby. They're just lasers. This requires so much fucking... Oh, fuckles. Pretty sure I can't. Nope. Pressing left at all, maybe? Oh, I see what it wants. Kinda. What is this? What is this? This is bullshit. <sighs> Jesus Christ, eat my ass. No. Catch you later.
Damn it. Holy shit, I can't believe I managed that. Damn, what did it want me to do there? God damn, so close. Damn it! Can you not- could I not jump on that floor? What the fuck? Damn it.
Let's go into the death machine. If I'm not sleepy by the time that I'm done playing Next Machina, I'll never be sleepy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's restart that once more. Demon saved. Oh god, I remember why. Damn it, Jesus Christ, why am I so bad? Jesus Christ, now. What the fuck, dog? Oh, Jesus Christ, now. That's it? No, wait, no. Restarting the entire thing. Nope, 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 nope. Hell yeah, we're going straight into the death machine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn it, I fucking suck ass. Let's go through here once more and poop. No! I... How long is the fucking cooldown on this? We need the triple. Death, death machine, death machine, death machine. This is my first try because I have fucking triple dash when I should have it. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just bad. I'm double bad. It's gonna take away triple dash and I see what I already lose. I already lost it. Fuck. Dashed out of the way, but sure, if that's what you want to do to me. Not good enough. Damn it, I went full hard there. God, the music in this is so good. Dash 
You fucking cunt, I'm gonna ruin your life. Damn it. Not having the triple dash just insta kills me. Took my sweet time with that, didn't I? This is a bit much right now. I think that we've got this handled just- oh god. bug people doing to me? What do they want with me? I am just a lone biker looking for dope cyberpunk ship tunes. You know, not of my struggle or my quest. Human 
explosion. Multiplier off. All humans saved. Multiplier off. All humans saved. How did I just let them? Jesus Christ. Instantaneously lose my no death clear. That seems about right. Keep 
fire up. All humans face. Shield lost. Dash explosion. Yeah, I think that was a good time to cut off the stream. I will catch you all later. This was beautiful. Thank you for joining in.